Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's learn how to make slideshows with titles using iMovie. After episode 319 where I showed you how to export iPhoto slideshows as video, I got a lot of requests for people that wanted to add titles to slideshows. Now iPhoto really doesn't let you do that, but you can use other tools to make slideshows as well. For instance, if you use iMovie, you can easily add titles as well as customize each individual photo in the slideshow sequence. Let's take a look. First let's start in iPhoto. Let's select the photos that we want. In this case I'm just going to select all the photos from this event. Then I'm going to right click or control click on one of the photos and select Show File. Now I could export all of these photos into a folder and use them in the slideshow. But instead I've done this and now I have a selection of all of these photos here. That wouldn't work if these photos were in multiple folders but since they're all in the same event they all appear here. So now I have them all selected and ready to drag into iMovie. So here we are in iMovie and I'm going to go to the Finder window, select all of these and drag them into the project like so. And this will go ahead and add them all in there. And there I have them all now in a slideshow. Now notice that each of these has a Ken Burns effect applied which is a nice effect but if you don't want it you just want the picture to stand still you can change it by clicking on the crop button in the upper left corner of each clip and change it either to fit or to crop. You can also change it universally before you import any of these photos by going to Project Properties, clicking on Timing and in here you can have initial photo placement set to crop or fit in frame and that will apply to all of them as you import them in. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to re-import all of these so that they're all just set to crop. Now since this is an iMovie project there's a lot more I can do to it besides just have these photos. For instance I can add titles. Click on the Titles button here and then select a title like the simple center title. Put it before the slideshow. Now I can pick a background like a simple gradient and I can type a title. I can also add a lower third to any of these images. So I can add titles to each of the individual images. So now I have a title at the beginning here and I have a title here. You can change the title properties by double clicking on the title itself. You can see for instance that the title will fade in and fade out which is a nice effect but if you want to set that to not do it you can have it go manual to zero seconds. We can also add transitions to our slideshow. For instance take this cross dissolve and put it between the title there and this. We can do a spin in between the first and second photos. And we can watch those fade in and then flip in like that for that. So you can do individual transitions as well as titles for each photo. And of course we can also add music from either iTunes or GarageBand or one of the iLife uh, collection. And just drag that into the entire project and it will stretch across. Or we can add it to individual sections. We can also use the voiceover ability of iMovie to record narration over the entire thing if we like. So there's a lot more you can do in iMovie than you can do in iPhoto for creating slideshows. It just takes a little longer as you build each individual one. And since this is an iMovie project there's so much more you can do. For instance you can combine images with picture in picture. You could also have video inside of your slideshow so you can switch between video and then images. So that really just touches the surface of what you can do in iMovie to create highly customized slideshows. Till next time this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.